Hello folks, we're back on the free-to-play account today, and today we're going to be making an important decision for Valkyrie. Valkyrie is currently only E1, which is a shame, but progress is steady on this free-to-play account. There's no big fancy events that we've been able to capitalize on. As well, we have Flame Armor here and the Glory Armor, right? So with the Glory Armor, with the Flame Armor, what are we doing? Well, Blacksmith events here, Graydor's Blessing. And that's going to cost a lot of gold if we want to get the Ranger gear. But we also have a HP HP stone that we could upgrade. But both are very expensive. So the question we're asking is, do we upgrade the stone now? Or do we get better armor now? Now, if we upgrade this stone, we might be able to squeeze out maybe another 10, 15% of HP if we get HP HP. And that's probably not going to happen. And it's also expensive. The next one is going to be 18 million gold. That's a lot. So, our other option is to mosey across, to have a look at what improving the armor would get me. Well, let me show you what the current armor is giving us. So, if I pop this back on real quick, we have our five-star gear here at the bottom, which is giving us 15% HP, and we have this flame armor, which is giving us 16% HP. So, that's 31% HP. Now, we need to use our six-star gear to get the ranger set, so we'll keep the five-star gear here. So, that's still 15% HP. So we need to somehow regain 16% HP. Well, if I go and show you what the Ranger armor gives, if we go to Grado's Blessing, we click on Forge, we go to Class Suits, we click on Minstrel Suit, we'll be able to see. This is going to give 7% HP there and 6% HP. And then the boots are going to give 7% HP and 6% HP. So for here, it's giving 13. For here, it's giving 13. So that's 26% HP. That is 10% more HP than we were getting before, plus the bonus stats that you get anyway. So I think 10% extra HP for 100 million gold is not bad. So let's do this. But before we do, I'm going to need to take the armor off everybody to make sure we have six-star armor. And I want to go to the monster. I want to level it up and see how this helps. So monster is going to go up. And can we get it to 90? I'm not sure we can. I think maybe we can get like a few levels out of this 67. Yeah, that's not too high. And we'll do what we can here as well. But again, it's not going to give us anything particularly amazing. What's that? 10 levels there? Yeah, nothing too fancy. So the big thing we want is to go to the blacksmith event. Click on forge. Click on class suits. Click on minstrel suit. And let's buy this. So that's 4,000 gems. We have 20,000, so that's okay. And 100 million gold. It's expensive, but let's go. Now, our gold has disappeared. We only have 39 million, but by making progress in the Aspen Dungeon, which is open right now, we can get that gold back. So, Valkyrie, don't let me down. This full minstrel armor here is giving her 3.2 million HP. That's nice. Let's see what it would look like if we put five-star armor on here, just to get the half-and-half half effect. Oh, it's higher, 3.7. Absolutely perfect. So our HP is nice and high. Can we upgrade this Traveler's Ring whilst we're at it? Let's find out. I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So that's going to be another level of here. Great. More HP in there. And let's do this again then. Perfect. So we got more HP. So that's giving us 10% HP on there. So now she's at still... Okay, 3.7. <laughs> wasn't that much of an increase. But I think it was like, what, 1%? I'll, I'll take it. And that's going to help Valkyrie in the Aspen Dungeon. But before we go into Aspen Dungeon, because that's going to be the big highlight of today, let's tidy things up with our heroes. Let's make sure the Floras are nice and aggressive, because we're going to be sending them in against, you know it guys, Tower of Oblivion. So, let's make sure our heroes are looking good. Let's go, Tower of Oblivion. And we're going to pop in. Two Floras, actually, because Floras are both Rangers, so they benefit from Guild Tech. And, oh, Guild Tech, that's right. It's been a week since we were last doing a video on here, so it's been a week since we upgraded Guild Tech. So let's go see what Ranger Tech looks like. We have 14,000 of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Nice. Perfect. And let's go to the settlement. Let's claim some resources here. Oh, that's another 2,000. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So we'll go back to Guild Tech, back to Ranger. Get another level out of this. So, whoa, even more HP. What does that take our little boy Valkyrie to? She's not a boy, she's a girl, but you know what I mean. And 3.9 mil. Now we're talking. Awesome. So, let's send our folks in. Let's see what this added power is going to do in Tower of Oblivion. 
I'm going to put her in slot 5 so you can see her better. We're going to put Olivia slot 2. Then we've got two Floras and an Oberon. Let's go. Wish us luck. Okay, my prediction is that Valkyrie is going to hit super hard. So let's go find out. Okay, she's looking not too bad here. Her health definitely keeping her alive. Which means she's not taking as much damage over time to this wave as she was in the past. And I think that means we're going to survive it. Yep. Beautiful. Let's go to the next fight. Here we go. We've got three Gurks, four Gurks even, with two Michelles. I think we're going to be fine. Let's take him down. <laughs> A lot of counterattacks there from Queen. And Queen is going to help us against Gurks because it... Crit reduction, I believe. And okay, they stunned Valkyrie, but that's good healing for her, so we can't complain about that. Good twine there as well. And it looks like damage over time is going to clean him up nicely. Yeah, can't do anything to Valkyrie. Beautiful. Easy win. Okay, let's skip some of these battles then. And that's five profit orbs. Lovely. That's going to help us massively. We got some bleakers there. Easy win for Valkyrie. And oh, we got defeated. What by? Margaret's. Now, let's see if these are a problem. Whether that was a fluke. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage over time. That stun not managing to heal us as much as we'd like it. Ugh, this is annoying. Oh, yeah, that was close. Also, when Margaret's die, they deal damage over time too, so we get punished. And can we upgrade the pet? We literally just did, Poyu. So, we're, uh... As far as it's going to be. Come on. Okay, we get a stun there. Let's break out of that. That was good. That was actually quite optimal. Okay, that Phoenix coming out was good. Oh, there we go. That was tight. 11.8 million. It's pretty nice. Let's see what else we can get out of this. Sleeplesses plus DAs. Oh, that's going to be a lot of petrifying on the Valkyrie. And that means she's going to clear it. Super easily. Oh, we do take marks from Sleepless, though. Sleepless is pretty horrible. But if we can deal with them, we should be fine. And if DA can keep healing us, that's real nice. Yeah, we good. Nicely done. Okay, what's here? Honor Guards and Flame Strikes. This could be a tough one. Here we go. Right, so far... Queen's doing her debuffs. That's what we like with those counterattacks. Flora's popping out. We've lost the whole team, and now it's down to Valkyrie. So not die. Hopefully she can hang in on there just a little bit. Uh, oh, man. That stun was a double-edged sword there from the Honor Guard. Waves with damage over time are a little annoying when we get CC'd, because I don't think we outheal the damage over time, so it just gives them more rounds to hurt us, which isn't fun. But we shall see. Is this going to be fine? Let's find out. Oh yeah, this feels much better. Much, much better. Oh, those flame strikes were on a slither of health remaining. Really unlucky. Third time's the charm, come on. Man, flame strike's always been a problem here with Valkyrie. And I think it's just anything with damage over time that Valkyrie can't outheal. It, it totally makes sense, right? Although we did get some really good twines on those flame strikes. One of them is shrunk. That is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, are you kidding? If we'd have got a crit on that last one, that would have been a win. Come on. Don't let me down. Okay, okay. Another bit of twine out there, but not on all the flame strikes. Only one of the flame strikes is twined, and she was shrunk as well. I don't think this is going to be a win. Oh, what? Honor God hanging in there. Oh, this game is such a tease. And you're right, we do need to get some good luck with the twines. So come on, Floras and Oberons, don't let me down. Tower of Oblivion. It's like the old days when it was all about CC. Okay, we managed to twine one of them. Oh, now two of them. That's good. It's very good. They're staying twined. Hello, hello. Yes! There we go. That was a good win. And Theorka.
Thank you for the follow. Let's go to the next fight. What are we facing? All right, Asmodels. Now, this is where Queen is going to come into her element, because Queen removes crit chance, which means we don't get hurt by Asmodels. But I spoke a little too soon there, because the Asmodels did get their crit marks off on our heroes. Although, hopefully, Valkyrie can heal through it with Michelle's help. But you can see when the health just pops down, that's a crit mark popping, and it means that Valkyrie is very, 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 very low health. I'm scared. Oh, okay. Good finish from Valk there. Pretty sure Michelle can't pop a crit mark. Doesn't have good crit. So there we go. And now there's some ice blink. So I think we can skip through this until we get another defeat. What's it going to be? Another Margaret wave, guys? <laughs> I called it. <laughs> I'm a savant, guys. Savant at the game. Clearly. Oh, man. Yeah, I think this is the end of Valkyrie here. Margarets are always the problem. Stupid damage over time. Oh, that one Margaret. Look at her health. Minuscule. Ridiculous. Well, we have two more attacks left, guys. So let's make it count. And maybe even use the other Oberon instead of Queen. It's an option. It's an option. It certainly is. But I think Queen just softens them up that little bit. Like, you've seen the Slither of Health they're left on. Like, Queen could be that difference. But then you're right, Oberon does have a good Twine chance. So I think it's kind of 50-50 between them. Okay, DA's an easy win, though. That's lots of healing. And what are we stuck on now? It's Flame Strikes again. It makes sense. Margaret's and Flame Strikes are the ways we struggle with. I think this, actually, you're, you could be right. Putting in the extra Oberon could be smart here. So let's give it a try. And the issue is Queen tanks a ton of basic attacks. So we don't get these late active skills. Although we did get three twines there. So that was actually really nice. That worked out quite well. Yeah. Wow. All right. Don't knock double Oberon double Flora, guys. They did pretty good. Although we've just got defeated by... Oh... No. No. Okay, I don't think anything's going to solve this. Yep, and we're out of droplets. It's Blood Blade. Why taunt me like this? In fact, I'm going to buy one droplet just for content. So we can see just how bad these Blood Blades are. Oh my word. I think we need Queen for this to reduce their crit chance. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, so one more try. One more try with Queen. I think we're done, guys. I think we're busted. Uh... Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, that's not fun. In that case, it's Aspen Dungeon Time. So, Valkyrie's ready. She's got a Traveler Ring, giving her 10% HP. She's got half and half here, so we get 15% HP from the Glory Armor. And we get the added HP from the Minstrel Cape and the Minstrel's Boot. We got HP here on a Celestial Stone. So, let's go into the Aspen Dungeon and make some progress. I've got a good feeling about this, guys. We want milk. We want a high roll. We want all the good stuff. And the only way we're going to get it is through sheer luck. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five angel potions, 22 milks, and five demon potions. Sorry, four angel potions. I lied. But either way, that looks good to me. That is the beginning of a good run. I think we're getting through difficult today, guys. I think we're going to have some good progress. Although oh, we're starting off with flame strikes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Let's take him down. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's fine. Asmodel and his healing buddies. Let's take him down. <laughs> and I don't know what that noise was either, guys. I, I, I think it's just... It was just something. I just made a sound. It was probably my Velociraptor mating noise, I think. <laughs>
<laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's let's go. You guys are saying pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah. That's the noise you make all the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly, guys. Perfectly normal noise for a human being to make. <laughs> Scree. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I don't want to buy four stars for 120 gems. Get out of here. All right, queen on her own. That's fine. That I can deal with. Ew, why the health so low? Why are you doing this to me? Not like this, step bro. Okay, Angel Potion in backup. Let's go. Let's take down Asmodel. Come on. Ugh. But why? Okay, then again, we didn't take too much damage there. We're good. And now Lutz. Yeah, Lutz will be fine. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Difficult 58. We're nearly 10 waves in. It's fine. Walter's going to heal us. And we're not going to take horrible damage over time. Y yes, we are. I lied. <sighs> Stupid poison. Right. What else have we got? Gurks. Four of them. Nice. These guys are going to be quite difficult. I think this is the hardest wave we face. I think we've had a few risky encounters with Gurks in the past. What have we got here? Just a solo Dan? That should be fine, right? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. That was okay. Valkyrie's health getting a little lower. Gurk plus Norma. Again, not a wave I'm too afraid of. Gurk does hit hard, though, with his holy damage. But generally, we're okay. So, nice. And a solo DA. I think this is okay. I want to use one milk here just for safety, but I think this should heal us. Yep. Yeah, that was okay. We didn't die. And we got a demon potion out of it. Pog. Alright, solo Gurk. Should be an easy win. Yeah, nice. Now, I want a quite soft-hitting solo wave. Margaret plus Bleaker. That's fine, right? Because they're going to CC us. And they're... Brought Valkyrie's health really low because we didn't get CC'd. And then we Angel Potion and everything's fine. And th that definitely wasn't terrifying. Mmm. Risky business. But we got more damage over time here. Fat Moo, Mirage. Yeah, damage over time waves are just the scary things for us. So please don't screw us. We got Gurk here on his own. That's fine. Should be good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we're a third of the way through. Asmodel, Dark Arthandol here. Hopefully this is healing for us. If Dark Arthandol plays nice. Yeah, good, good, good. Awesome. Yeah, oh, not quite. That active skill didn't petrify us. So it did do a chunk of damage. But here we have a field. Maybe the field wants to be nice. Yep, he stunned us. Excellent. And we've got an Angel Potion. Yes, get in. Best thing for Valkyrie. Absolute best thing. The more healing, the better, guys. I think we're definitely clearing difficult today. I think it's happening. I think it's totally happening. And solo blip blade, that's fine. One is manageable. It's four when we get worried. And we good. We good, we good, we good. So, who we got now? Whew, Starlight. With Dragon Slayer. I am going to milk. Starlight could hit us hard and then crit, and that's not good for anybody. So that's nasty. Oh, she hit us and then she crit. She did exactly what I said she'd do. Uh, not nice. And we got Gurk with Dan. Again, we're milking here. We want to get dangerously low and then Angel Potion. I don't feel like we were dangerously low enough then. And I still feel like we're okay. Come on, give me like a solo Lutz or something. Solo Bade. Okay, he can high roll. I'm not risking it. We're going to put Milk in. Because Bade is just weird. Like, yeah, that active skill did a ton of damage. Like, he's just, just a bizarre hero. Absolutely bizarre. Almost in the fail. Right, this is fine. This is going to drop us low. And then we'll Angel Potion. Which is good. That's what we want. Excellent. Perfect. Now our health is super duper low. 
and then Angel Potion time. So, this is going well. We also have full energy, which is nice. And then big active skill. Yeah, that's good. Mickeys don't really do much to us, so we're safe. Okay, we're over halfway through our journey through difficult. Difficult 77. We've got four Asmodels. This should be okay. And Nota saying just use milk every time you're below half health. Nah, 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 nah. The thing is you want to get to as little health as possible so you get the most out of an Angel Potion. Because that's the most optimal use of Angel Potions. If you burn through all your milks, you're then forced to use Angel Potions in really bad times. So that's kind of what we want to be going for. Like the really nice optimal use of the Angel Potion. Because then that saves our milks for later on. And then you only milk at scary waves. Or at least that's how I've been doing it, and it's the most optimal way to use healing potions. Uh, this we milk, though. Because this is an awkward wave. We could get CC'd, and everything will be amazing. Or we don't get CC'd, and we just take a ton of damage. Yeah, you see how damage is all over the place here? Like, it's going up, it's going down, it's not making its mind up. And a profit orb for 500. I'm going to skip. Don't need this. And thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Drearies. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Gru. Let's smack him. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Looks good. And, okay. Skip. Edgar. All right. And Smoot up saying Idle Heroes is dying. People have been saying that for years. It's, it's not the case. It's just that people leave and then new players join. It's just the natural cycle of the game. So just the people you know will quit and your server will quit. And you'll go, oh no, the game's dying. It's, it's not. There's always new whales coming in. There's always new spenders coming in. The game's completely fine. Uh, we're going to Angel Potion here because Valkyrie's nice and low. And, okay, that was good. That's nice. We clean. And Margaret plus Bleaker. This could heal us all the way up if we're good. Uh, nope. Didn't heal us all the way up. We didn't get CC'd. And skip on these again. 15 more waves remaining, guys. I got a good feeling. I got a real good feeling. And Smooth, thank you, man. I appreciate you complimenting my look. What do you guys in the channel think? Say in the comment section down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Do you like it? Do you like the shave? Do you like the, the haircut? What, what, what do you think? And we got Blood Blades. Four of them. This is Demon Potion time. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Valkyrie's health. Yikes. Okay, good. We got a Lutz here. This might get us another optimal use out of an Angel Potion if we're lucky. And, ugh, these guys are 320. They are not going easy on us. We got Mickeys here, so this is one milk. And maybe we get lucky here. Maybe they do a decent enough damage that we can do an optimal Angel Potion. Maybe not. I don't know what's going to happen here. Nah, it's fine. We've got Walter on his own. Mm, I'm going to milk. I'm going to milk. So let's go. My lighting's insane. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? It's real good. And ugh, this wave, again, it's another milk. Okay, lots of CC there. That's nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Getting stunned and petrified. Help Valkyrie stay alive. Now, this wave, I think we have to milk again. Just because it's Asmodel. It's really annoying. Because this could have surprises, right? Crit marks are not fun. Like, the moment someone crits, we're going to lose a chunk of health. So we just cannot take the risk. But no one is critting, which is lucky. Yeah, that was fine. And, okay, I'm going to buy this. Nice. And bade. There. Gonna have to heal again because this guy is an RNG bot. Come on. Don't screw me. Oh, see, he low rolled that time. It's annoying. Didn't need to heal. Fair enough. Also, little fun information here for you guys. Our crit damage potions are nearly max. We're on 19 out of 20. So it's 38% crit damage, which is insane. And we've got a solo Dantalion here. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, easy kill. Maybe we can get a solo Lutz here. That'd be nice. Grew with Dan. No, I'm going to have to milk this one. 
Too much tankiness. Too much tankiness. All right, we're in. We're in. We're good. And Valkyrie's health, nice and low. Solo Gurk. Do I risk it? Because we could really use an optimal angel potion here. But we're so close to completing difficult that I can't risk it. So it's just one milk. I might regret this decision. I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. We'd have been able to be fine there. Right, solo Karim. He shouldn't have too many surprises. Nope. Unless he crit then, that would have been actually quite scary. And one Ice Blink. Okay, he's doing nothing. This is the wave we want for the optimal Angel Potion. Yeah, nice. Right, we got like, what, 3% health? <laughs> Angel Potion time. There we go. All the way back up to full. Beautiful. Margaret and Bleaker. Here we go. And there we go. That was beautiful. That was fantastic. Difficult 99. Gru plus Dan. So I'm pretty sure we're here, guys. We've done it. We finally cleared difficult. And it's been a breeze. Upgraded Valkyrie. Just with this new armor. A little bit more stuff in the guild. Guild tech's good. Everything's good. And difficult 100 is a blood blade. Okay, sure. At least it's not four of them. That would have been horrible. But we're through. We're clear. And that's difficult. And we're in Nightmare now. So, Nightmare time. Where does that put me on the leaderboard? 158. A lot of people have made it this far. But we got two Asmodels. We're going to milk here. And let's see what happens. A lot of nasty crit marks. Could be scary if one of them crits. <gasps> Holy crap! What? No! No! Did you see how much damage he did? I should have healed up way more! I did not realize they were going to hit that hard! Wow! Wow! Well, there we go, guys. Here we have it. For clearing Aspen Dungeon, we're being offered the luxury skin selection chest, Whew. which gives us any skin in the game. We're being offered, you know it, guys, the light and dark five-star hero selection chest. And we're being offered 150 million spirit and 150 million gold. And that is only $70. Is it worth it? God, no. Look at that markup. $69.99 in pounds. You realize that that's like way more. That's like $100 <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. I don't, I don't even know. Like, wait, that could be $100. Okay. Let me just get a calculator. One second. Let me just show you how messed up that number is. So... $69.99 is how much it costs in dollars. And if I times that by 0 0.72, which is what the dollar to the pound is right now, that's how much it should cost me. It should cost me 50 great British pounds, but no, $69.99. Thanks, Google. Thanks, DH Games. Ripping me off. But it's the free-to-play account, so I don't care. Get out of here. Don't need it. What I do want, 80 million gold. 600 lovely jubbly gems and that takes us back up to 121 million just like nothing happened so there you go look at that beautiful amount of progress valkyrie doing nicely we've cleared difficult 100 and i got absolutely traumatized by asmodel well until next time guys make sure you look after yourselves we're going to be pushing this even further and i'm disappointed but then again, I'm pretty sure 9 milks and 5 demon potions wouldn't have got us to Nightmare 50. I think we really do now need to get Valkyrie to a position where she can push a little further. We need E3 Valk. 
I think. But until then, guys, hit that subscribe button if you want to catch more content like this. Join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump if you want to catch this content live. And of course, guys, until next time, have a great week and happy idling.